Welcome to fourth grade history. This is for lesson 149. We're looking at pages 216 and 217. But um, before you get your book out, <coughs> pardon me, um, you need a piece of paper. Um, you probably had guessed that it was coming soon because you'd had two days in a row where you had reading in your homework. So um, yes, you have a homework quiz today. So number your page one to five, some multiple choice, and um, a true and false, and there's one short answer, but you have to know the answer. So, all right, so I'm gonna ask these questions and I'll give you a little bit of time and then uh, move on. But if you get stuck, then go back, pause the video or go back and, and um, listen to me say it again um, so that you can get these. And after the quiz, I'll give it a little, I'll warn you, but I am going to give the answers to this. So I want to make sure that you know that um, if, you, if you're not done with the quiz, don't listen to the answers until you finish the quiz, okay? All right, number one is multiple choice. What country attacked Pearl Harbor? Was it A, Germany, B, Italy, C, Japan, or D, Russia? What country attacked Pearl Harbor? A, Germany, B, Italy, C, Japan, or D, Russia? Okay, so you only have to put A, B, C, or D. All right, number two is true or false. The United States entered World War II after the attack on Pearl Harbor. True or false, the United States entered World War II after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Okay, three is multiple choice. There's three choices, A, B, and C. What do we call the day Germany surrendered to the Allies? Was it A, the J day, B, the G day, or C, the E day? What do we call the day Germany surrendered to the Allies? A, the J day, B, the G day, or C, the E day? Okay. So A, B, or C. And then four is just a short answer. So I don't give you any choices. What kind of bomb did the United States use to destroy two Japanese cities? What kind of bomb did the United States use to destroy two Japanese cities? Okay, and then five. What country used concentration camps to kill millions of Jews? Was it A, Germany, B, Italy, C, Japan, or D, Russia? Which country used concentration camps to kill millions of Jews? A, Germany, B, Italy, C, Japan, or D, Russia? Okay, again, you can just put the letter of the correct one. All right, so finish that up, and if you need to pause or go back, do that so that you can finish, but I am gonna go ahead and give the answers. So number one is Japan, C, okay? Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. And number two is true, okay? It was after, world, after the attack of Pearl Harbor that we entered World War II. True. Number three might have been a little tricky, but it's C, the E day, okay? Victory in Europe is what that stands for. And four is the atomic bomb, atomic bomb. And number five is A, Germany. All right, A, Germany. I hope you did well on that. Um, so we are going to take a look at, I'm gonna put this up. We're gonna take a look at your history book. So page, page 216. And you, last night for homework, you should have read 216 and all of 217 or, um, uh, at least to the, the end of, to that last paragraph. Um, and then, but we are only going to cover U.S., the United States enters the war today. We'll cover victory comes at last um, on the next lesson, okay? So first of all, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. The invasion of what country started World War II? The invasion of what country started World War II? And that was Poland, okay? Who was president of the United States during World War II? It was Franklin D. Roosevelt, okay?
okay? I may have said something wrong in the last lesson um, because Franklin D. Roosevelt was the, the president um, and there was, there was something. The man who was in charge of the um, General Dwight D. Eisenhower would become the president after this, but um, he was just a general at the time when he was in charge of the Allied forces, okay? So just to help you with that. On what three continents was World War II fought? On what three continents was World War II fought? Europe, Africa, and Asia, okay? Number four, who made up the Axis powers? Who made up the Axis powers? Germany, Italy, and Japan, okay? And then who were the allies? Who were the allies? Great Britain, Russia, and the United States. All right, so something happened um, for the U.S. to enter this war. As, as it did with World War I, there was something that happened that brought us into the war because we were trying to stay out of it because it wasn't, um, they weren't fighting against us and they were, um, it was, it was Europe's war. And so it was something that, that the U.S. was trying to stay out of. Um, but the, the countries that were um, at war didn't, they wanted us to be involved in it. I think that part of it was trying to draw us in. But another thing is that they didn't really see us as a threat. Um, and that's something that we're going to see today is that they, they didn't really view us as a threat, but at Pearl Harbor, we had a military base, a Navy, a Naval base that, um, and, and we still have a Naval base on Hawaii, um, but Pearl Harbor is one of the, the Hawaiian islands, and we put a Navy base there because, um, remember, Japan was trying to capture um, was trying to invade Asia and control Asia, but also the islands in the, in the Pacific. And so those are right next to, um, they would have been very near Hawaii. Um, I'm not very, but they're, they're near Hawaii. Um, and so with that, they wanted, we wanted to make sure that we knew that if, if um, the J Japanese forces were, or anyone else were to come and try to take over the Hawaiian Islands, it would, wouldn't be long before um, the, the western part of the United States, California, um, Nevada, or California, Oregon, and Washington, those three would potentially be attacked by enemies if there were people, um, if, if another country controlled the Hawaiian Islands. And so since they were one of our states, we wanted to make sure we were protecting them, but also protecting the rest of the United States. And that's why we put a, a base there. But um, the Japanese knew that having that base was, was one of our, uh, was what he, they had to destroy or to, to greatly injure us there so that um, we couldn't go and save the Pacific Islands that were that they wanted to attack, um, and so he they prepared for this, and and it says that um, the Japanese boasted that we would rather give up than fight because they'd seen us do it before, and so um, that was something that that we had this reputation for just giving up and, and not fighting um, because of that. And so they, they tried to trick us by sending some, some Japanese men um, to Washington, D.C. to talk peace. I'm sorry, my nose is itching. And, um, but they were secretly planning to um, attack Pearl Harbor to to bomb Pearl Harbor and so on Sunday morning December 7th 1941 nearly 200 Japanese planes took off from aircraft carriers and flew over Pearl Harbor 
you know, they took us by surprise. The very first pass, um, and in fact, I've, I've told you guys about this, um, but I have a grand, great grandfather that was there. Um, he's no longer alive, and, um, but he lived through this. And he told the stories. Um, and those stories were told to my parents or my dad, um, who then told them to me. And um, it, it's neat to, to have connections to some of this history. Um, but <clears throat> they, uh, they came over and, and they, they dipped their wings. And that's kind of a sign of a wave um, in, in aviation. Um, and it was supposed to look like they were friendly planes, like they were just flying over and they were going to be gone. Maybe they had uh, somewhere else to be. They were just flying over. But when they came over, when they started coming and, and they turned around and they were coming for a second pass, uh, my, my great grandfather was on a submarine. He was on the deck out, out on the top with his captain and the rest. It was Sunday. So the rest of the, the crew were on shore leave. They had gone um, on to, to the shore and they were um, doing whatever they were doing on a Sunday morning. They might've been at church. They might not have been. Um, and so they, um, my grand, great grandpa and, his, and the captain um, saw the bombs start to be dropped and they, they didn't, um, hesitate they went and they get prepared the submarine to take it to the bottom of the ocean to save that submarine because <clears throat> they knew that if it stayed up at the top that it was a target for the bombs and so they took it to the bottom of the harbor and they waited they waited till they didn't hear any more of those of the the bombs going off um, and unfortunately um, there were they they destroyed all the planes that were sitting on our airfield and at least or there were eight battleships that made up up our navy at the time and seven of them were either sunk or badly damaged over 2000 american men were killed and you know later that day the rest of america heard the news of this and and were surprised and it you know, it makes me think of some of the, the attacks that we have endured since then that um, the 9-11, uh, you guys weren't alive for that, but um, you've heard the stories, you've heard me talk about it, and we watched that video, um, but that, you know, we, we he, now we have greater communication that we found out within half an hour uh what was happening in new york but then they would have they had to wait till the end of the day and they would have had their radio programs interrupted um to to tell them that that had happened and so that's you know that's the difference in in what we have now and what they had then and you know even with this um coronavirus the the news of it passed rather quickly because of, of social media and because of how of the internet and just everything. And so um, at this point on December 8th, 1941, the US and Canada declared war on Japan. And soon afterward, Germany and Italy declared war on the US. And so we are, we are in the war now. They've attacked us. We are not backing down. You know, we did not run from this fight. And <clears throat> Some think that we should have been in the war sooner. Some think that, you know, it was <clears throat> that we were good to stay out of the war before. But, um, you know, I don't, we can't change what happened. And so it, it doesn't, the fact is, is that now at this point, you know, in history, we were in the war. Um, and so it, we are we're, we're going to go to battle. And, and you've read some of that, and we're going to look at that more at another time in the next lesson. But I um, wanted to make sure that you guys are um, keeping up with this and hope you did well on the homework quiz. And then um, you should have one more lesson. If you're, if you're doing them in the same order that, that we do them in class, you should have health left. And then um, you'd be done for the day. So hopefully 
you get to take a little bit of a break after that and get do some fun things, but um, we will see you in the next lesson.